Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about generators in the Python programming language. So generators are nothing but a kind of simple functions or expressions which are used to create iterators. Okay, so let's consider a scenario where we may need generators, right? So let's consider a scenario um, in which I want to obtain the value of the first value of the factorial of the first 10 natural numbers right so let me create a function to do that i just define a function called factorial um, in which i will input um, the value n the first n natural numbers right so i will just create a simple empty python list to store the factorials right and then just define k uh, an arbitrary variable which is equal to one so for i in range 1 2 and plus 1 what i have to do is that i have to repeatedly multiply i with the k and what i need to do next is just append the k value to the factorial list and then simply return the factorial right that's it and now if i just try to type factorial factorial 10 let's say what result i will get is a list which contains the value of the factorials of the first 10 natural numbers right so there is a problem with this method um, consider the case in which i just want to um, get the value of the factorials sequentially right so in that case i do not need to store all these numbers in a list because saving all these numbers at the same time is consuming a lot of memory right so what i want is that i just want to store the value of only one factorial number at a time um, in my memory so let's see how we can achieve that using generators right so I'm just going to define another factorial function called factorial 2 in which I am NOT going to use any list I'm just going to define k which is initially 1 and then for i in range 1 to n plus 1 what I do is that again simply multiplying k with i and now I'm going to yield the value of k. Okay, so let's cons uh, let's see some example to understand how this function is going to work now. Okay, so what I do is now just define f is equal to factorial 2 and let's say 10, right? So now what has just happened is that I have created um, a generator function and when I called this generator function what I received is a generator object called f so if I just try to see the type of f it says it's a generator right so now let's see what this generator is going to do so basically the generator objects are nothing but iterators which can iterate over your function so what I can do now is that I can just use the next function so if I just type next of f what I get is 1 so why I'm getting 1 I'm getting 1 because um, it's the first it's, it's the first next call right so initially when the function is called the k value is 1 then I enter this loop and initially i value is 1 so 1 into 1 gives me 1 and yield k value this statement yield is called only when you call the next function on the generator object so when i called next of f i got the value of k which is one right so what if i again call next of f what i get is two right so why is happening it's happening because um again this iteration will be caused and what will happen is that k which was in uh, one gets multiplied by a value of i which is 2 now so k becomes 2 so when i just type next step i yield the new value of k which is 2 right so if i just keep repeating it i will keep getting the factorial values right and finally when the iteration is complete i get the stop iteration exception right so it's as expected so this is how um, a simple generator function works and i hope this example was clear to make you understand the concept of generator functions okay now let's consider one more scenario in which i want to get the sum of first 10 natural numbers the sum of squares of first 10 natural numbers let's say so what i can do is that i can just create a list of natural numbers using list comprehension right so i can just do x square for x 
in in range um, let's say 1 to 10 right so I'm just writing 1 11 here so what I get is a list of natural numbers like this right squares of natural numbers so now what I want to do is that I want I want to get its sum right so what I can do is just wrap this sequence object with sum function and I get the sum as 385 right but now again there is the same problem the problem of saving the complete list in the memory so I can avoid that by using the concept of iterators by iterating over each value and adding it to the sum right so what I can do is I can use generator expressions so what I can do is just defining again the natural numbers as um, now I'm not going to use um, the square brackets I'm going to use simple parentheses so it's x square for x in range 1 to 11 so it's the same thing but the symbol of the um, brackets has changed right so now if I just try to see the type of natural numbers as you can see it's a generator right so basically what I have created is a generator object but this generator object has been created through a generator expression not a generator function okay so what I can do now is I can just simply call the sum function over my generator and what I will get is 385 the same result again right so this is how um, I executed this generator expression and this works simply like an iterator um, iterations were caused only one value was stored in the memory at a time so basically this was a memory efficient method right so this is how um, you can use generators in your python programs and I, I hope it was clear if you have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below so that's it from this video thanks for watching